Hey guys, welcome to Python Ticking to Tutorial Part 19. In this tutorial, we are going to build a login page with an attractive user interface as you see in the screen. So when I add a wrong username and password and click the login button, I get a message saying incorrect username and password. So if I keep the username and password blank and click the login button, then I get a message as blanks are not allowed. So when I add the correct username and password and click the login button, then I get a message as login successful. And it will take me to a welcome page. So this is the project we are going to build today. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First we must import all from tkinter. Then I imported message box from tkinter. Then I created a window called root and I gave it a background color of cyan4. As you see we have got a perfect window. Then I created a label called login page. And I gave it some geometries using the place method. This geometries might not work for you in your login app because I am using place method. You can adjust your geometry according to your app size. Then I created another label called username and I gave it a font of Arial 20. Then I created another label called password. And I created the entry for a username and I gave it a font of Arial 20. Then I created another entry for a password. We use show to add a permanent symbol to our entry. As you see in our password entry, we have, when I add the text, it shows a symbol. Then I created a button called login.
So now we have completed the user interface. So now let's get into our backend development. So I'm giving a command name of login to my button. So under my define command name login, I add a variable name called username. And I use get to get my entries data. And I do the same thing for my password also. So if my username and password is equal to a blank, then I say blanks are not allowed using a message box. So if my username is equal to login and my password is equal to 123 then I say login is successful. So if my login is successful then I create a window called top and I give it a color of white and I destroy my root window. So now our application is working without any errors. Then I create a label called welcome under my top window. So if my username and password is wrong, then I add a message saying incorrect username and password. So as you see when I add the wrong information and click login, I get a message saying incorrect username and password. So when I add the correct information and click login, then I get a message saying login successful and I go to a welcome page. As you see, a login page has been created successfully. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. If so, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to get my video updates.